singles, including a bunt single his first time up. Goes after the first pitch and fouls by. They have won four out of five, and they are 10 and six in the month of July. And he gets Altuve on that six game time today, 82 degrees. As Bregman takes a fastball up and in, 1-0. Height hitting 355 this season against the A's. Another one. Astros start the night 50. Crawford was hit by a pitch yesterday. Has a hairline fracture in his pinky on the right hand and behind the plate. Longest stretch of consecutive starts behind the plate in his career. Takes a pitch down and in by Duhar and J.J. Blade, your top three. Brent Rooker, DHs. Shea Langoliers and Abraham Toro, five and six. Lawrence takes one down for a ball, one and one. Butler went. This one fouled out of play. It's one and two. Astros are going to try to cut off the run early. Infield comes in here for Miguel Andujar as Bloss misses OPS. It's a foul to play, and it's 1-1. One one. Maybe with one out, you test it. Bloss getting ahead 0-2 time. Victor on the IL the last time. Loss started, and there's a swing and a miss. Now with two outs, he has to stay focused on Brent Rooker. Rooker leads the team in every offense. Batting average, 67 RBIs, 47 runs scored, all best on the team. And he drills one deep to left field. Jordan watches that one, and that is going to go off the top of the out-of-town scoreboard. Two-run line drive home run by Brent Rooker. And the A's take a 2-0 lead on Rooker's 23rd home run. That one pretty close, but called the ball. Adam Beck is our home plate. Both home runs off him this season from right-handed hitters. Now one and two, but he spoke that pitch to left field. Now he gets Langoliers to end the inning, but some dangers. They've had opportunities. They had two hits in the first inning yesterday. They had two hits in the first inning today, but unable to get a run across. John back in the lineup after a lead miss. Diaz played first last night. Takes a pitch up for a ball, one and one. Career with the Pirates at age 21. Last year with the Pirates and starting a few games and working out of the bullpen as well. Strikes out John Singleton. But Doe in his most recent two outings out of the bullpen against the Phillies and prone to some wildness. Especially hit by Pitt. And Badeau picks up another strikes to watch the Astros win. Right now, the Astros trailing 2 to nothing as Jake Bloss goes back to work, facing the former Astro. Back in the lineup today with Bloss on the mound. Toro chops a foul. It's 101. Pitch miss. You are on playing left field tonight. He hasn't been in left field since July the yeah, if he leads off or bat second in the inning, he'll be hustling to get in to the dugout. Watch these guys work before batting practice and get some of their reps in. And that's usually when you see guys who are starting the rehab process go out there and do steps of the, the quick twitch type of movements right now. But it looks like it's going to be a little while. And as we've talked about, even when he gets to, he months. was off to an MVP start. Mm -hmm. Joe also said Tucker is able to hit in the cages and hitting. Trying to keep a ball from getting in the gap or trying to run in and make a catch. You know, and legs are such a big part of Tucker's game, not just. For Tuck sharing the knowledge. Tuck's now becoming the savvy veteran, helping out the young rookie. Yeah. Called third strike. Caught. And we should see Paul Skeens make his next start against the Astros. He went eight and a third innings today against the Cardinals, and it looks like he's locked. Victor last played for the Astros on June 19th against the White Sox. Strain was prior to the collision and went on the IL after that. Just a piece to stay. Led Miss Diaz also activated on the rod. Led Miss and Caratini. 
football hits the center field. Hit pretty well. J.J. Bladé going back. He's near the wall. He will reach up. It's gone. Welcome back, Victor Caratini. Astros. Been a good pitch all season long for Bedell. Now sick. Say so fouls off the 2-0 pitch. Here's Alex Bregman, who doubled his first time up, takes a pitch off the plate. Thrown out, trying to score on a fly ball to right off the bat of Yiner Diaz to end the inning. Bottom of the third inning, A's leading 2-1. to one. Butler drives one to right field. Hit well, Loperfito watches this one, and that's off the State Farm side over the wall for a home run. Butler drills consecutive multi-hit games as he has a multi-hit game already in the third. Now at Duhard taking a strike, it's 0-2. They are fourth in baseball with 129 home runs now. Only the Orioles are a higher percentage of runs scored with the long ball. Yeah, I think Joe got that question. Two for the month at 854 coming in. And Duhar goes down on strike, so. Loss delivers it. Previous <laughs> swing and a miss, so Bloss coming. coming up from double A and pitching at this level, no matter who you're facing, is going to be a challenge. But you're seeing flashes of brilliance, and then you're seeing some mistakes. Get Here he is pitching his third big league start, delivering a strike. It's one on one. And no matter what, has got to be something that he's able to learn from and build on. Skipped his AAA time. The only time he started in AAA was on a rehab assignment. Off the plate, three and two. The Marlins. And this is his first walk here. He's getting it, got his Masters at Georgetown all in the span of four years. some of those during the course of the night. This will be our last Tuesday before 100%. The rash of pitching injuries, but again, coming from that double-A level, skipping triple-A, that's, you know, they're going to miss some of the fundamentals in between. 1.66, and losses at 1.89 on average this year. But again,